FC 100 here, and um, I'm about to review the movie Sid the Science Kid, the movie. Now, I know it's already been about, I think, a few days or a while since it came out. Like, it's still, it's still probably on on TV. Now, you're probably thinking, why would I review a movie like this? Now, it's not because I don't, it's not like, you know, I don't want to or I don't have to. It's just because I'm kind of a fan of the Muppets as well as the Jim Henson Corporation for make Jim Henson himself by making these wonderful and lovable characters. But when Jim Henson really put the point where after he passed away, his, his workers ended up making these uh, cartoons for children. Now, the, the cartoons I can right now that I think that they're making are Dinosaur Train and the Sid the Science Kid. Then they decide that, that one of them should have a movie. And I heard that they made a Dinosaur Train movie as well. But then they make Sid the Science Kid the movie. Now, I have no idea what they were thinking at first. Ignore that. Now, now I want to give my full... Um, intelligence uh, I mean like my kind of review of how what I think of this movie and what's been going on now you're probably thinking right now what's up with these games behind me that are you know like um uh, classics that are for the 3DS well it seems like I think it's probably a complaint for my background yeah you know my background uh, on my videos sometimes like I'll probably be in the hallway or something reviewing uh, movies or, or games and then sub points you'll see this um, you're probably seeing in the back right there there's a picture of a bunch of animals well guess what I you know I yeah I you probably think that I have something against them no it's just because I'm part of the in, the environments people I kinda help the animals at that point I like to help animals of course because I'm a fan of them I am a fan of the turtle and also the penguin and also not only because of the turtle because TMNT but no because of the turtles themselves I I do enjoy the animals I go to the maritime aquarium um, that's the point where you know like I'm it's nothing against anything or anything or it's nothing too weird or anything but no it's just you know not it's natural because I really do care about the environment, okay? Okay, so as that, we got that settled. Please understand of what I'm reviewing. So, um, you, when I watched the movie, it started out slow. It, it, some movies do that, and some most of them probably do that as well, like The Dark Knight or The Dark Knight Rises, the Batman series, the Christopher Nolan movies, like... Um, that's what they do. They start out slow until they come to the epic form of when it's going to get, ep uh, uh, you know, very strong in the movie. Now, this started this way. Now, for some reason, I didn't really doubt the movie, but the idea is there was no plot in the show. There was, it's only involving a kid who studies science with his friends and not too much and not too much of science that's, you know, with chemicals and stuff, but like science about how simple machines work, or probably something like how to control this, and also trying to see if you can balance that, or be clean, hygienic. But what kind of plot was there? That couldn't work with a plot. Well, it had seemed that this movie found a way that completely changed what the TV show was about, and made some kind of good and entertaining flick. Now... After I saw in, like, this movie, like, you would not believe it. I didn't know that Christopher Lloyd was in this movie. I mean, how did Christopher Lloyd manage to get up to it? Until I thought about it. When I saw his character, he looks like Doc Brown, for Pete's sake. Like, of course. They wanted to pick his, this guy, Christopher Lloyd, for this because, you know, he's kind of famous for his role as Doc Brown in Back to the Future. There are actually some Back to the Future references, like, if you look at the character, he kind of really looks similar to Doc Brown. Like, no difference, like, barely any differences. Ex and his voice is, is like, wow, it's like, you know, it's similar to how he talked in the movie. It's sometimes his normal voice, but as well as that, like, 
it's like something like Back to the Future. You'll see some of it there. And uh, the characters, Sid and her, his friend, Gabriella, are teaming up with these, um, with two Asian children. I forget their names. I didn't manage to catch up with it. But I, ha I knew their names in the film. But, you know, when I was watching, but then, you know, I didn't catch up too much because um, I'm concentrating on the main character. But, like, while it's going far, there are a bit of, like, formulas that go on. Like, a formula is going to stick there and somehow it's going to go away. Well, that's how it sticks. It sticks to a formula, then it starts to go to a different plot in the movie. So, while I'm trying to look for it, like, this thing is happening, like, I cannot believe they added this kind of plot. Like, it's about a robot going into havoc. And the kids are now going to save the day by trying to stop it and managing to reprogram it. And wow, like, we haven't seen that before. But for some reason, it makes it work in the movie. It makes the scena scenario or kind of what it is work. It makes this really work. Like... I never thought that this part in the movie would happen. I mean, this is for children, for Pete's sakes. And the show doesn't look like it doesn't have any epic things happening. But no, this one epic thing, epic thing is happening. Like, I was really surprised. Like, I never knew that they could put this on. on it was on PBS, for Pete's sake. Um, I watched it, I watched it with, like, uh, my cousin or something. Like, wow. Like, uh, I also watched it by myself independently, but... Like, the movie. Like, I was really shocked. Like, what was going on? Like, I never knew they could have this kind of thing in a kid's film. Like, they were running around, chasing this thing. Like, it kind of felt a bit like the Terminator, except with, without all the killing and stuff. But, like, really. Like... Seriously, like, I've never seen a plot like this. This is a film that actually deserves to be watched a lot. I mean, of course, this is a kiddie film, but of course, it's a film I think all audience would be appreciated with it. I think it, I heard that it came into cinema once, but what the heck, it should deserve, it should deserve to be in theaters for at least a bit a week or something, because it kind of has that kind of cinematic feel. It starts up... Instead of, like, children's film just starting up with, you know, its regular intro, it actually starts up as an actual intro for a movie. Like, wow, I never thought that that would happen. When they said Sid the Science Kid the movie, they meant Sid the Science Kid the movie. I really was impressed with this. I don't doubt it for trying to, you know, like, um, being like a movie and such, but it kind of brings you there. It's like, starts out like a real good... Uh, intro of a movie but and then in the end it also ends like real credits like real credits were ending there like I never thought that this could get through but you know I enjoyed the movie um, it was a fine um, movie it actually was our that movie was a long movie of course and there were no commercial breaks at all at at point when I watched the movie the movie just kept going and it never ended until it ended in the end, they do show some things that were referencing to the movie and what kind of stuff that was involving any science things. I can say that you will enjoy the show, but many people will enjoy this movie. If you're a Sid the Science Kid fan or you enjoy science or you like to see those little guys trying to pull an action pack, uh, trying to solve solve you know and uh, trying to stop a chasing robot this is a movie for you okay so my thoughts is that it's a good movie and it should be enjoyed to watch i give the movie probably like a seven out of ten okay then i can say for that uh okay that's my review of the sid the science kid movie see you in other movie reviews fc 100 signing out